Okay, just downloaded the, uh, the Windows 8 consumer preview and just thought I'd give you my quick thoughts on it. Bit of a change from the phone videos and I've installed a SSD in the old MacBook Pro for all you uh, speedophiles. Speedophiles! <laughs> That's a word I'm never going to use again. Uh, just to show you how quick it boots up and stuff if you've, uh, if you've never used one and you've always used a, a hard drive. But yeah, I've just been trying to navigate my way around Windows. After about 10, 10 minutes or so, you can get to everything, but initially it's, it's a bit frustrating. You think, where's the control panel? Where's this? Where's that? So anyway, I used a Parallels desktop. If you, go, if you just Google for Parallels, download Parallels desktop trial, it comes free, well, it lets you download a version of Windows 8 Consumer Preview. This is the virtual machine environment, and this is the desktop, the Metro, whatever it's called, area. So you can like, scroll through. It's designed to be sort of touch screen and or normal desktop. So this little tile here is for the, the normal desktop. So you, when you're in here, the initial frustration I had, and don't get me wrong, <laughs> I, I like Windows, yeah? I, I actually like Windows, all right? So, and I know, you know, I get shouted out from my HTC videos for being negative, but the start button, oh, it's not there. So it's like, where's the start button? So if you go over to the right, and down a bit, you get this side panel here. So if you click start there, it takes you back to the Metro thing. So um, you don't actually need the start button as such, but you just feel like you do. That's my biggest. And my next thing I wanted to do, I just wanted to quickly go into the control panel and change some settings. And normally I would go start, settings, control panel. But what I realized was in this menu here, you've got settings, fair enough. Uh, and control panel is at the top there. Uh, initially it wasn't, I had to go down to more PC settings. I don't know whether you can see that to be honest, but control panel does bring up the control panel we know and love. But over here as well in the settings, uh, personalization with a Z, you've got all the usual control panel settings you would normally have. Um, what else have we got in here? PC info. This is all actually taking me to real shortcuts of actual things. Before it was giving me like a nice big menu, so I don't know what I've done. Maybe it's because I chose not to show as many options. But uh, yeah, there's this side panel thing here, and again down here, you click, oh, not Internet Explorer. Oh my goodness, back to full screen. Close IE quickly because I don't like it but yeah ah, start very bottom left corner lets you sort of flick between and when you've got this side panel up it sort of you can list all the programs you've got to open now because I'm running this in a virtual environment it keeps bringing down the Mac menu at the top but if I go back oh goodness <laughs> go back to the Metro page this page and I open up like the weather or something like that. All good. Go back to the start menu. You have to go to the very top, and I have to I have to jump down to stop my Mac menu popping up. So you get a list of programs down the side. There we go. So you can right click on them and close them. It took me quite a while to discover that. So close the desktop, and again you've got all these other settings in here, and this. I can scroll along to all my sort of shared Mac applications as well. Three finger swipe obviously takes me back to my Mac desktop. And there's my parallels. Anything I've got running down here, for instance, three finger swipe back. If I open Internet Explorer, for, for whatever crazy reason, it'll actually be listed in my dock as a parallels running app. Right clicking it and trying to quit it from here, it doesn't let you do it. You have to actually go to the Windows environment. Again, this is, you know, this is viewing it from a sort of boot, not a boot camp, a parallels. This is running it as a virtual machine when inside Mac OS. So it's slightly different to the experience you would get normally. But right click, close. So yeah, I might do a few more videos on it uh, as I get used to it. I say it was frustrating at first. I think the lack of an actual start menu will annoy Windows users, but people that are sort of seasoned Windows users. But again, if you like change, like I do, something different, it's quite nice really. Once I got that menu sorted out, 
the, with the start menu and the settings, it is a bit awkward to navigate within Parallels. In fact, if I make it not full screen, I can probably get to things easier. Or not. Let's make it full screen again. So yeah, if you want to see any stuff about Windows 8 or any, any, if you want me to have any opinions or thoughts on it, uh, or run specific things and try it, uh, give us a shout, let us know. Uh, other than that, I'm still waiting for the Galaxy S3 to arrive, hopefully next week, although there are shortages on the colour that I've ordered, but yeah, I'll keep you posted. Anyway, that was just a quick one, and uh, I'm going to go back to normal Mac and quit that virtual environment, and shut it down again, because since I've had the SSD in it, I don't tend to sleep it anymore, because it's just as quick to shut it down as it is to start it up. Normally. <laughs> Bye. See you later.